Hello friends, my name is Rohit. Welcome back to my channel Test and Measurement People. And today I will give you a demonstration of a clamp meter that is AC and DC complete. Uh, so this is the clamp meter, which is it. And uh, uh, it is written Sigma and model as 313A. And it is a complete clamp meter with AC and DC current both. And it can measure up to 1000 ampere AC and DC both. So let's uh, stop wasting our time and uh, let's start with the demonstration. So these are the things we are getting in the box. First is the uh, canning pouch, second is the lead set, uh, the batteries, the meter, uh, this is the instruction manual and uh, that is another thing and that's a useful thing which uh, these people are providing it to us and that's a television certificate. And uh, this is very much important if you are doing for an audit part as most of the clamp AC and DC uh, are DC currents are used in the field in the batteries and the solars part. So the calibration certificate is most important for those audit part and all those things. So uh, let's uh, firstly uh, start with the specification part of this meter. So uh, this is it. Uh, this is uh, 4000 counts true RMS AC DC clamp meter and the AC voltage which it can measure is around 750 volts. The DC voltage it can measure it is uh, 1000 volt DC. The resistance it can measure is 40 up to 40 mega ohm. The AC current it can, it can measure is around 1000 ampere. This DC current is 1000 ampere DC. And there is some other things also. The frequency is up to 10 megahertz and the capacitance you can measure is up to 1 milli farad. That's a good uh, above range. So uh, it is having all, all the things and even the continuity and the dot checking is over there. So this is the meter and uh, uh, this is how it looks like. A Sigma 313A and uh, it's DC voltage, that IC voltage, AC and DC current, then resistance, then the diode checking, continuity, frequency, capacitance, NCV. And uh, now days I'm seeing that NCV are mostly uh, manufacturers are providing uh, in the meter and the NCV stand for non-contact voltage detection part. Means there is some uh, voltage, it is uh, not coming, there is some breakage at some point, you can measure this. Uh, measure this thing by this uh, NCV part. So uh, let's start with the demonstration of all those things. So I put the batteries onto it and uh, now this is the battery compartment part and all the uh, contact details of the uh, companies provided on the meter only. Uh, so I'm turning it on. See it's on now and now you can see uh, that uh, there are around three buttons. Select hold and BL and REM. Select is uh, used to uh, select between the both two ranges of AC voltage and the uh, sorry AC current and the DC current and hold part this is a hold button and the BL. BL stand for backlight if you press it for two, around two seconds you can see that the backlight is on that is a sharp backlight of white color if uh, some of our friends are using the low light environment uh, you can press this button and you can uh, start uh, using it and uh, see the other, what are the readings. And I will confirm it to you what REL stand for and, uh, stand for and what is the use of this button. Okay, uh, let's start with it and uh, this is uh, the lead set which are provided with the meter. And I should confirm it to you that the lead set which are provided uh, by the Sigma people are always of a decent quality. You can use it over there for uh, around like months or, or years. So it's depending upon your usage. So I've already put onto it. I have some samples also. Uh, so let's uh, connect those samples and let's start with it. So firstly, I'll be uh, checking the AC uh, DC voltage part. I'm uh, just turning it on it's an auto rage uh, multi uh, clamp meter so uh the sum of the reading which are coming don't you worry it's a millivolt so this is the dc voltage and this is quite an old battery so you can see the result which is showing is around 8.4 volts so uh the results are quite fast and the readings are quite stable 
so now uh, I will be going to the AC voltage part and I'm, uh, I have this extension board with me and I, I will be uh, giving you the reading of voltage which is coming on to the back side you can see it's coming is around 241.8 volts AC so the results are quite fine it's a true RMS clamp meter so don't you worry about the accuracy part of it uh, it's quite good as uh, every uh, true RMS clamp meter the AC voltage and the AC current detection are uh, accurate uh, due to true RMS facility so now I'll be going to the resistance part I am having some of the resistance with me let us see what the results it is showing it is around 100 ohm then you can see 99.6 ohm is coming and now the other value uh, which it is is uh, 9.87 kilo ohm the 10 kilo ohm resistance is, the results are quite fine and let's see uh, the continuity uh, here you can see that it has gone to the diode range part now we have to select put the select button and uh, now you can hear the continuity voice the sound is quite loud and you can hear it quite easily and uh, now as this is a frequency part uh, this is can measure AC frequency so what it is sensing is around 50 Hertz which is coming uh, in India it is coming around every time it's come around 50 Hertz only so uh, now is the, I will confirm it to you the NCV part NCV stands for non-contact voltage detection and if there is some breakage then you can just sense this uh, this is the NCV part detection part which is uh, given on the, the meter uh, when we will be going to the NCV part uh, then you can see if we go to the near to the live voltages you can hear it the beep sound and the voltage is active and we come and we come over here the sound is off means there is some breakage the voltage is not traveling over here the voltage is traveling over here only. so this is the thing uh, you will be using for the NCV part so uh, let's start with the demonstration of the AC current part and let's see what the accuracy it is having so here it is uh, to measure the AC current uh, you uh, when we go to that part it is already in the AC mode and for measuring the DC you have to press the select button and then it will go go into the DC mode and now you can see that it there is some zero error firstly I want to confirm that when you will be using this meter do uh, move the switch to and fro around 4 to five times that if there is some carbon in the switch it will be automatically gone then when we will be going on to this uh, range then uh, if we select uh, DC current that you can see there is some error this is a, some a zero error of the machine and it is quite easy to clear it there is one button which is given as REL you can see over there when we press it uh, this button the the error of this machine is become zero and then now you can use it uh, for measuring ac current also and the measuring of dc current also so firstly here it is in the dc mode then you can measure the dc otherwise if it is written ac you can measure ac so i will be uh, testing the ac current part and there is no zero error if you want to clear it if there is something you can clear it by pressing the rel so now uh, first lovely I want to confirm that some of my friends uh, do detect it uh, like clubbing of the wire and this is a wrong procedure to test the current uh, of every current you want to measure for AC current uh, you have to go to the live wire and for the DC current you have to go to the positive terminal of that wire on, on that part uh, the current is always flowing so I'm turning it on uh, this is a small bulb of 100 around 100 watt and I'm using it and uh, let's turn it on and let's check the AC current of the sample you can see the current is mm. 
you can see the current is around 0.26 uh, ampere which is trapped which was traveling in the wire so uh, the accuracy around uh, second decimal place uh, the results are quite good it is uh, measuring around uh, milliampere so when it is measuring ac in the milliampere part it would be uh, checking dc also in the milliampere part so the accuracy wise this instrument is good and uh, you can use it at your place and now i'll be giving you the demonstration of a dc current part Okay, now I will teach you how to measure DC current in this clamp meter and uh, I have this power supply with me, it's a DC power supply of the Sigma make only and the specification is 30 volts DC and 10 ampere current. So uh, whenever you want to measure DC current in batteries or in solars, uh, you have current will always flow in the positive wire, the positive terminal and not in the negative terminal. So here uh, we can short both the terminals and then the current will be flown uh, in this wire then we will be measuring the current. So uh, let's start with it, I am just uh, uh, decreasing this voltage around 3 volts and then I will be shorting uh, these two terminals. Now you can see that around uh, 0.3 ampere current is flowing in this uh, wire and uh, now we will be measuring uh, the current. So we are switching on uh, the instrument and uh, now you can see I have into the current range and uh, it is an AC and we will be pressing the select button and now it's just shifted to the DC mode and uh, here you can see the, some readings are coming so we will be pressing this REL button to set it auto zero so uh, now we will be measuring the DC current through this wire only as you can see uh, now that around 0.3 ampere current is flowing and it is also showing 0.3 so you can firstly you can see that it is measuring the current in the milliampere range. Uh, so now we'll be increasing the current, and uh, here you can see that it's around one ampere current is flowing in this wire, and uh, 2.5 3 ampere, and uh, the total capacity of this instrument is around 10 ampere. So here you can see that the higher current is also flowing, and you can see uh, that it is also showing in the. Uh, clamp meter so uh, that's it for the video that's it for today and uh, do keep on uh, checking my channel for some more uh, technical videos uh, if you have any doubt you can uh, uh, put it into the uh, com uh, comment section I will uh, surely give you reply as soon as possible uh, as, com as per uh, the quality of this instrument uh, this is a decent uh, clamp meter with both AC and DC current and uh, I have also opened this instrument and check out this PCB and uh, I have seen that it is quite decent and quite uh, reliable uh, materials are being used in this and for after sales service also you can contact these numbers and they will guide you up uh, for that uh, after sales service so that's it for today uh, thank you